Hello? Yeah, hi, Bernie. This is Juan. Um, are you free tonight by any chance? Hi, sorry, I can't tonight. Um, I'm meeting up with John for drinks. Okay, uh, what about tomorrow? I've got plans already, sorry. Alright, and what about uh, next weekend? Look, Juan, you are a really nice guy, but I just like you as a friend, that's it. Sorry. Sound familiar? So yes, gentlemen, you just got friend zoned. Now, it's not always this clear cut, all right? But in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what getting friend zoned looks like. If that sounds interesting, let's get right to it. So, as I said before, it's not always this clear cut once she friend zones you. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you the subtle and also not so subtle ways that a lot of times you get friend zoned and they're pretty much telltale signs. One of the very first ways that you can tell if you're being friend zoned is if a girl doesn't make you a priority. All right, if a girl actually likes you and, and um, has a burning desire for you, trust me, she will put a lot of things aside. She would put uh, a lot of the time with her friends, uh, like a lot of the extra stuff that she does that she does oh, apart from her job trust me she will make that time for you and if she is not interested in you believe me you are not gonna be a priority to her and she's basically always gonna flake on you which brings me to my next point she's always gonna flake on you now one of the things that kind of sucks with today's dating market is people have way too many options and one of the things that a lot of times us as guys have to deal with is a lot of times girls flake on us and when she has a tendency to flake on you, buddy, she is friend zoning you like you wouldn't believe. The third way that you can tell that if a girl is friend zoning you is she always calls you when she needs you, but probably doesn't do the same for you. Now, one of the, the things that I gotta say with a lot of girls, especially if she's very pretty and she has a lot of dudes after her, um, you know, she's got guys to choose from. And the thing is, a lot of times, us as dudes, we're not the smartest. And a lot of times we place women on a pedestal and we pretty much do whatever she says. And if she's always asking things from you, but when you need something from her, she doesn't really, you know, she doesn't really fall through with it. She makes excuses. She, like I said, she doesn't make you a priority. Then that's a very good way to tell that uh, she's friend zoning you. If a girl has a high interest in you, if she actually wants to be with you, if she has a strong desire for you, trust me, as, as I said, she will pull all stops for you. She will actually do a lot of things for you. She will meet you like at some unreasonable time because she actually wants you and cares about you. All right, if she's not doing that, if she makes excuses all the time, trust me, she's friend zoning you. The next way to tell if a girl is friend zoning you is basically she doesn't give you any calls past like, let's just say nine or 10 o'clock. Now, obviously most of us, you know, we, we that's the time that we normally go to sleep in. All right, but if a girl actually really likes you and she actually wants to talk to you, trust me, as I said, she will pull stops for you. She will actually break a lot of her own rules in order to like talk to you. Okay, and actually there's a saying that uh, girls make rules for betas, they break rules for alphas. If a girl really likes you and she cares about you and she actually wants to be with you, she will break a lot of her rules in order to be with you. And if she's not texting you, if she's not calling you past a certain hour, if when you text her, she takes forever to text back, that's a very good sign that she's friend zoning you. Last, okay, and this one is uh, is, is kind of obvious. Now, the thing is, this also is, is pretty dependent on who you run into. Um, everybody's different, everybody's morals are different. Some people are very conservative and they don't like hook up with anybody uh, until they get married, while other people, uh, they, hook up with, they hook up with pretty much anybody. All right, so you have to kind of gauge who you're talking to. But basically, if you're not getting any action from this girl, if you've gone on dates with her, if you've done all these things with her and you still have not gotten any action, you probably got friend zone. Now, like I said, you have to figure out what kind of person she is, all right? But another thing you have to figure out is, you know, she may say something, but her actions don't lie to you. So if she says that she's the conservative type of girl or whatever, but the next week you see that she partied and got drunk and who knows whatever whatever else she did then clearly her actions don't don't match what she says now you have to be very careful here all right but as i said you need to figure out who you're talking to who you're talking about 
okay and if yeah if you're not getting any action if you've been with her for if, if you've hung out with her a lot or you know that she's a certain type of girl and you have not gotten anything clearly you got friends on all right guys that is it for today let me know what you think down in the comments hit me one of these and subscribe down below if you like um let me know what i missed or is there anything you might add or do you disagree with any of my points all right guys that is it for today see you next time